Hi, thanks so much for joining us. My name is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. Our website is sis4teachers.org. We're so happy that you joined us today to look at some strategy games. This strategy game that we're gonna play is called the Nine Hole Strategy Game. You can simply make this board on a piece of paper by making a square, putting a plus sign in it, and knowing that you're going to play on the nine intersections of where the lines are. Or you can go on our website and download our strategy games and you can have them in your classroom. This video tutorial will be great for students to learn how to play this game by themselves on a, the, watching the video and working on writing out the rules. Or you could play it for your whole class to go ahead and play. In this game, we're going to use two-sided counters. However, you could use anything, even if it was clear counters, even if you just had pennies and nickels, whatever you have to have one person in one color and one the other. This game is played very similar to tic-tac-toe. You're trying to see if you can get your color three in a row diagonally, horizontally, or even vertically. This game is a little bit different. Unlike the game tic-tac-toe, it has continuous play. There won't be a cat's game when we play because just because one of my counters is laid does not mean that I can't move it to another location throughout the game to either try to win or try to block my partner. We're gonna play two rounds here to see if you can notice how we're using the strategy together. I'm gonna to go first, I'm gonna be red, my partner's going to be yellow. You can sit um, across from each other for this game. For my partner, we're sitting shoulder to shoulder, but either way would work for this game. My partner's now gonna decide if he wants to put his counter in any of the other eight spots that are left. Okay, I'm going to continue kind of playing and put mine in the corner here. I'm going to put mine over here to block my partner so they don't get the three in a row. So my, all the counters are on the board and it's continuous movement. So I can move my counter to get a win. I see a win right here. So I'm going to get my three in a row and I'm crowned the winner. We're gonna reset the game board one more time and play it out again. This time I'm going to let my partner go first. In this game, you wanna pay attention to where your partner's going and where you're going to see how you can get a move in to make it so that you have three in a row. My partner puts theirs in the middle. I put mine off to the right. It's my partner's turn now. I'm gonna go up here to block that three in a row. Gonna come over here again, because that diagonal he could win, so I'm gonna put mine there. My partner moves their counter out to block mine that's there. Remember, you can kind of go around the board in any different way that you want to, to see if you can uh, win. Now, if I move this counter here, I'm not gonna do it, but I want you to think about what might happen. If I move my counter here, because I'm trying to get my win, I need to be careful because now I'm opening up that spot for my partner to come in. So sometimes while you're playing this game, you might be thinking of different moves that you might kind of change the way you're thinking based on where you're moving. I'm gonna move mine to the center. My partner's gonna come and block me there. If I were to pick up a different counter sometimes, it can sometimes prevent you from winning too, so be careful to see where you're going. My partner moved to the side, which when we we're thinking about moving something, it sounds good at the beginning, but it was a perfect chance for me to come slide in on the win. This game is really fun to play over and over again. You can even do a tournament game to see who is the nine hole champion in your classroom. We hope that you enjoyed watching our video on nine holes and have an idea of how you can implement this strategy game. This is gonna be a level one game, so if you get the idea of this game, you can also join us for our level two game on our website on sis4teachers.org.